Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Daisy Sanchez and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I've been wanting to say that for a while. I don't know. I, I need to perfect my welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here, I'm glad you're here. This video will basically be me taking you through a week on colorectal surgery. <laughs> Uh, today I didn't really film anything, but today is Monday, and I'll tell you a little bit about what we did today. I got up around 5 a.m. I went into the hospital around 5.30. I pre-rounded on all my patients, put in orders, talked to the attendings, made sure everybody was nice and stable, <laughs> and then I went to the operating room around 8 a.m. We had three cases. We had a hemorrhoidectomy, we had an anal fistula, and then we had a patient with mucosal prolapse. They were all anorectal cases, so we did all of those. And I checked on patients, and checked on any pending things, and then got some lunch, and then got out of the hospital at a decent hour. I was actually done by 6 p.m. today. What? <laughs> Not mad about it. Currently, I am actually trying to do a little bit of studying here. Clearly failing. <laughs> But uh, then I have a meeting that I agreed to do with a group of pre-med students from Texas. So I'm going to do this Zoom meeting where I'm not entirely even sure what I'm going to say, but I'm going to tell them a little bit about my background and then answer any questions that they might have. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, which means I have a bunch of online meetings. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning and we just finished up all of our online meetings. So Tuesday mornings for us are kind of our M&M meeting, journal club, etc. like our educational mornings. We used to do these in person back before this whole pandemic craziness happened. Um, since the pandemic started, we've been doing them remotely. So it's all online. I have my computer here and it starts at 7 a.m. So Today for me, I call a late day just because sleeping in to, to get up at like 6.30 is really not that bad compared to my usual 5 a.m. days. So today I got up, uh, listened to M&M, which was the first thing. So that stands for morbidity and mortality. Anybody that's familiar with the surgery residency kind of knows what that means. We had two cases this morning and then we had grand rounds and we had a lecture for about two hours and then a rapid review session where essentially we all just got quizzed by one of our peers. And now it's around noon. I'm going to make myself some food and then I have a meeting at one and then I have to be in clinic by two. <laughs> So here we go. Now let's go downstairs and get some food. hear me out this is why Tuesday is taking so long I have more to tell you so when I was driving over to clinic I just got out of clinic it's around 6 p.m. which is great this is absolutely amazing it's an early day I'm so happy but when I was driving over to clinic I see a car like pull up beside me and then I look over because they're kind of honking at me I'm like are they, are they talking to me and I look over and then this girl's like waving and then I put my so of course I put my window down she's like looks nice and um and I recognized her I was like I think I saw her on TikTok and I put my window down and she goes hey are you Daisy from TikTok and I was like yes I am and I was like are you the girl that commented on my TikTok that you saw me driving to work and it was in fact her we drove off because the light turned green but I I thought it was the like funniest thing in the world like that was just so weird like what like how like that's so random <laughs> now I'm about to go home and log on to a zoom meeting so we're doing our pre-interview meet and greets with the applicants for this cycle this is the first one for this year and so we'll get to kind of talk to some of the applicants tell them about the residency and tell them why they should come to our program <laughs> So I'm apparently the social events person for the residency because I was just kind of voluntold to do this and 
I guess one could say I am social. <laughs> <laughs> but since I feel like doing a whole lot of talking today, let me tell you about some of the pathology that I saw in clinic today. So today, I got to see a lot of patients. I saw a rectal cancer patient. I saw a colon cancer patient. Um, I saw a lot of patients with hemorrhoids. I saw a patient with an anal fissure, and I saw a patient with a levator ani syndrome. So I got to see quite a bit. It was a good day. I think I met a lot of great people and yeah. <laughs> Morning, it is Wednesday. It's 5.30 a.m. and I'm on my way to the hospital, which is about 25 minutes from where I live. So I should be there around 6 a.m. Currently in one of the call rooms here. You can kind of see it's not that exciting. There's some art on the wall. I came in here just because I needed a quiet space for tumor board, which is currently being done online via WebEx because of COVID, etc. So this morning I came in, I saw all of my patients, I wrote any orders, I did notes, and then I checked in with the nurse practitioner that's also on this service, um, just so that she's aware of everything that's going on. Then I presented a few patients at this tumor board. Tumor board is essentially a multidisciplinary team that kind of meets to discuss cancer patients. And so this involves surgeons, radiologists, pathologists, oncologists, sometimes radiation oncologists, and everybody kind of gets together and talks about different cases and then how to proceed. So we did that. And then now I have a case that I'm going to go to. So we just finished up a low anterior resection for a rectal cancer and a right hemicolectomy for another colon cancer. And now I'm going to go eat because I am starving, but also look, this elevator has a mirror on the top. It's also nice because it has windows. At least I can look at the outside world. Okay, I just finished up for the day-ish. I guess I'm still on call, so I'm not really done, but uh, today... I did the two cases. We had another case, but it was canceled. And then I had to go see a consult. I went to go see this consult. It was an older gentleman with a highly, highly metastatic colon cancer, very likely. And um, he kind of didn't really have an idea exactly what was going on. Uh, the wife was in the room. I spoke to them. A little bit kind of told them that surgery is not an option for them and that they should talk to the oncologist about potentially getting chemo therapy the prognosis is poor on this patient just based on the imaging findings and the information that we have so far i spoke to the wife um, who then found me in the hall uh crying kind of with tears in her eyes and was just asking me more questions and i just sat there and talked to her and listened to her and try to tell her to take it day by day, but it sucks. I think the worst thing about surgery is what we can't do. There are limits. Like, it's great when we can do surgery. It's great when we can fix a problem, but sometimes you see a problem and there is no surgical fix. And that sucks. Just got home. I actually made it to the gym today and now I'm going to work on some studying and submitting a case report that I've actually been working on. I will spare you guys the grief of watching me study. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. It's around 5.45. I'm on my way to the hospital right now. It's a little bit dark. And just to tell you guys a little bit about colorectal surgery, it is obviously an option for fellowship. So you do five years of general surgery and then you do a fellowship. I think it's about a year long and then you sit for your colorectal surgery boards. Now, colorectal surgeons specialize in diseases of the colon, rectum, and anus, essentially. A lot of colon and rectal cancers, a lot of ulcerative colitis, Crohn's. It's kind of the bread and butter of what they do every day. A lot of um, anal rectal cases as well. Hemorrhoids, fissures, fistulas, etc. 
Now, I have absolutely no previous exposure to a colorectal surgery service. I've rotated, obviously, on general surgery. I'm a general surgery resident, but I've never done a colorectal surgery rotation. That being said, I think it's been really interesting. I don't think I'll do it lifelong as a career, but I've learned a ton. I've had great attendings to work with, and so far it's been going great. I got my little morning breakfast, and now I'm going to go to the first case. out here taking a sun break here's my only advice um, you have to actively seek out things that make you happy and for me one of those things is going outside and just sitting outside soaking up some Sun which I don't know where it went <laughs> and so that's what I do all right that lasted a whole two seconds and now I gotta go back to surgery so <laughs> just hanging out here chilling drinking my tea in the surgeon's lounge waiting for our next case so our next case is going to be an ileocolic resection for a patient with crohn's disease it's going to be done laparoscopically so listen your girl is tired <laughs> i'm so sleepy right now i stayed up so late last night studying and now i've just been dying all day not even the cafecito is going to save me Okay, you people, I got up at 5 this morning. I got here at 5.30. I rounded up all my patients, and I've been running around all morning, which is why I have not had time to film a video. Now I'm going to the operating room. Still haven't eaten breakfast. Um, but you know what? It's Friday. Your girl's in a good mood because I'm off this weekend. I just realized that I shot this little short clip um, up in the ORs just to kind of include that into my YouTube video because I figured, you know, this is where I spend most of my time, this is where all the magic happens, I might as well include that in there. Then it occurs to me mid-clip that there are cameras in the OR and that somebody sits at the front desk and watches those cameras. So somebody just watched me make my awkward little 10 second video up in the ORs and they're probably thinking like, what is wrong with this girl? <laughs> is she okay? <laughs> And the answer is no. <laughs> Little midday latte run. I got myself a vanilla latte and a snack. Okay, so it's around 1 p.m. We finished up our cases. We did some scopes. And I'm going to go check on all of our patients and then go to clinic. <laughs> I just want to say that is some talent right there. I've essentially mastered the art of uh, opening doors with a drink in your hand or multiple other items in your hand because I pretty much always have something in my hand. <laughs> this week was surprisingly nice <laughs> and not as crazy busy as it usually is. Hence the reason I was able to actually make this video because normally I just have no time in the day to even sit down and talk to myself, much less my phone. But today, just to tell you a little bit about what we did, we did a laparoscopic surgery in which we took out the right colon of a patient because he had cancer in the area, it was pretty much confined to that area. So his surgery was curative, or so we hope. We'll obviously wait for the pathology to come back and kind of give us a better idea. That's essentially when the pathologist, who's also a physician, takes a look at the specimen, they cut it up, they look, it under, look at it under the microscope, and take a look at the margins, they take a look at the lymph nodes, and then they give us a real stage depending on what the specimen. I was about to leave, but I called to check on a patient that went for a procedure, um, an IR drainage of an abscess, 
and I can't get a hold of anyone, so I'm just gonna walk back in and try to find the patient myself. Now that being said, I'm sure it probably means that everybody's very busy doing very important things, but it will make me sleep better at night if I just physically see the patient and see that he's all good in his room, nice and stable. So I went and checked on that patient. He's doing a lot better and now I'm pretty much done. I'm just going to drive to the other hospital, which is about 25 minutes away, to talk to one of the attendings there about potential research opportunities. So he's one of the attendings from the cardiac service and I'm going to talk to him about potentially doing some research, especially since I'm interested in a couple different fellowships. Haven't quite made up my mind yet. Um, research is always good for that. So it's around 7 p.m. and I pretty much just finished with my Friday. I'm actually going to go to the gym and then go home and then probably study for a few hours, probably till around 11 p.m. or so. And then I'm going to crash and hang out with the baby all weekend. And so thank you for watching. Thank you for joining on my week on colorectal surgery. Um, I'm really happy to share this journey with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. Feel free to drop some comments. Let me know what you, what things I should show, what things you want to see about residency. I want to show you and be as transparent as possible. Pretty much willing to show you everything about residency as long as it doesn't get me fired. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.